Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and let's draw the other evil twin from Granny, and this time it's gonna be Buck. So here's my full pencil sketch, shown in two speed, and then right after this, I'll show you guys how to draw this line by line with a Sharpie. All right, so let's draw this, and here's my sketch underneath. And this one is very similar to uh, Bob. It's just a lot skinnier, but the facial feature is kind of similar. So we're gonna draw in the brow area first. It's got a lot of strange lines on his face. Let's draw two slants like this and come across. So this will be right over the eyes. And then the end right here, we're gonna dip it down. Okay, and then from here we can draw in this eye shape. So right underneath this, just go up and then come back down. Okay, right here, go up, come back down, and then just round off the bottom. So the eyes are kind of far apart. And then here's the eyeball inside. I'm just gonna draw a circle touching the top. And I'm gonna shade it in, but I'm just gonna leave small highlight. It's always nice to add a little highlight to the eyeball. All right, and then from here, let's go ahead and finish up the little detail right here. So right in the corner of the eye, let's draw two little curves like this, and then one right in the middle. Again, it's got a lot of uh, strange little wrinkles on the face, and then up here as well. All right, so now let's come down and draw the nose. So right from the corner of the eye, come down, draw a little bracket. And I think his nose is kind of messed up too. So just come in, and then I'm gonna slant it down on both sides. 
All right, and then just come down here, finish up the mouth. One little angle, and then go out to right around here. So his mouth is a little bit smaller than uh, his twin brother, Bob. Right here, just draw a little bracket coming down all the way to the mouth. And then just one little line here for the bottom of the lip. Okay, so now that we have the features, let's go ahead and finish up the face. So just come out to the side here. Almost a straight line coming all the way down. And then now we're going to pinch it in for the jawline. And then just kind of close it off flat for the chin. Okay, let's go ahead and add in this one little line here for the cheekbones. Okay, so now let's go ahead and finish up the head. And we're going to pinch it in for now. Because he's got some hair, but it's going to be on the outside. And then right here, we just kind of cut it off early. And now we can draw in the hair. So come, come back to the side right here. Just kind of flare up. This side is going to slant a little bit more. Come in. And then just kind of go all the way across. Close it off. And we can add in some lines here just to give it some more detail. Okay, so that's the head and it's got those strange looking ears, just like uh, his twin brother. I'm gonna come out from the corner of the eye. Okay, so just draw a little angle like this. Continue this down and then just kind of hook it into the face. All right, so that's the head and then now for the neck. It's a little bit skinnier. Just come down and then just round it out for the shirt. Shoulders coming out. And now we're going to come down and join the shirt first. So from the shoulder, come down. Just draw two little slants like this first. So that's going to be the armpit. Come up here. Come down. Come down a little bit more on this side. And then connect to this. So there's going to be one slant going up. Okay, and then now we can draw in the arms. So right here's the armpit. Come out, and then from the shoulder, go out, close it off. That's gonna be the shirt. Finish up the arm, just extend it. So here's the elbow. And then we'll keep this simple. We'll just kind of come down, kind of straight, and that's gonna be the arm. So we're right around here. And then now for his thumb, just one little hook. One little line here for the inside of the palm. Here's the back of the palm. And then now for the finger, we'll just curve it down, round it up, just connect that. And then for the other fingers, same thing, just one little hook on the back. All right, so now for this side, it's gonna be holding the, uh, the weapon. So we're gonna come down a little bit more and then just kind of go in to the shirt there. Okay, right here. Come down for the arm. This one's gonna go up and then extend this line. Okay, so once we have this, we're gonna have to draw in the hand and then we'll finish up the arm. Okay, so from here, just draw like a little Kind of like a rounded little rectangle here. Okay, so just draw a little curve like this. And then for the fingers, I'm gonna add two curves inside. Come out here for the thumb. Okay, and then here, I'm gonna draw in the weapon, the baton. So from the corner here, draw one line down. One more on the inside and then just close it off. Okay, so now for the to finish up the hand, I'm just gonna continue this out. Come back in. So now we can finish up the arm. So I'm just gonna continue this down. 
Just round it out for the elbow and just close up that space. All right, hopefully it's not too tricky. All right, so now let's continue on with the weapon. So we're, just whatever slant you have here, just continue up. Close it off and I think this section here is a little bit wider. So I'm just gonna extend the line and then just go up. All right, so that's the upper body and now let's draw in the legs. So just come down right in the middle. Just draw one little curve like this first. And then I'll come out to the side for the leg. Just bracket all the way down to his knee. Come back to the inside here. All right, and then from his knee, let's just come down. And then I'm just gonna add a little bump there for his jean, because it's gonna be tucked in to, uh, to the boot. So just come down, just add one little bump on the side. And then now for the boot, I'm gonna extend the line. Just come down, close it off. So just one section, but just smaller on the bottom. All right, and then for the bottom, for the shoe, just come down. And then on this side, just come out, curve, close it off. Okay, same thing here. All right, so that's pretty much it for the, uh, the figure. And now we can add in a little bit more detail here for the jean. So let's say for the knee right here, I'm just gonna add in some creases. And even down here, maybe some lines, just to give it some more detail. Same thing here. And then for this one, uh, if you wanna add in those little camo uh, patterns here, so you don't have to follow this exactly, just adding some of these little curves. So this one, you just kind of have fun with it and just make your own little patterns. Okay, so there's really no wrong way of doing this, just add some patterns. All right, so that is it for this bug. Hope you guys like the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time.